You know, you always have that that, that hope that they're going to run out of gas and maybe drop a match that they should have won seeding wise. So there's a lot of different variables that play that don't always come in. You know, that don't always factor into the double elimination brackets that we traditionally used to see. All right, so our Linky is playing the Toon Link. Yep. I feel like the less popular of the three, but you know, sometimes that's in your favor. You know, you don't quite have the same matchup experience you need. Yeah, a rare breed. And, you know, we'll see what ends up happening. All, you know, the links all have very similar looking kits, but they they are utilized in very different ways. I and Spanky with a quick third, 42 percent coming out with the Squirtle combo. Yeah, it's kind of just what you're used to. You see Pokemon trainers, the Squirtles at low percent get the get the game going, and then you have the Ivysaur come out, and you know trying to put away stocks with some of the kill setups, and then of course Charizard when you need it. He, he exists. <laughs> you don't you don't die. You don't die. <laughs> I and Ivy coming out right now, 57% onto Link. He's going to be in dangerous territory pretty soon. Yeah, he's got to be careful of that down throw to up special kill confirm. And you kind of see that, you know, Spanky's trying to rack up just a little bit of more percent, maybe another back air, another nair, and then you'll know what he's looking for. Yeah, and I actually like the switch to Ivy just so he can kind of match the projectile game of uh, Toon Link. Linky doing a good job of stuffing every approach option, you know, throwing boomerang and arrow right where he needs to to just keep Spanky out. And what was once a lead is now, you know, just a huge deficit, just chipping away at it. Yeah, he's really just getting caught with these bombs, but the up air gonna just pop him up, looks for the up B, but doesn't find it. There's oh. an up special. Oh yeah, there's the up special vine up coming out. Oh, back throw, this could be it. No, he goes for the down throw, doesn't think he'll kill. Interesting. Yeah, I thought I was scared the back throws coming out. Yeah, with some rage. That could be that that, that uh, Smash Four bias. Uh, you know, in my no, mind. I'm pretty sure that goes. <laughs> and you can see Linky changing up the game plan too, trying to find a way in now to get an up smash. There's the bomb. Misreads the DI in that situation. Probably just a missed opportunity. Yeah, sometimes if you're a little too close, it pops them up in the other direction. It's real weird. And Spanky gets the vine whip. Yeah, it's a, he's a little really tentative off these bomb confirms, you know, sometimes, especially if you're playing Toon Link, he's got to go boldly. Oh, and rolling right through him multiple times, and Linky just standing his ground with the up smash up throw, not going to do it. Linky actually had a bomb in hand that was a little bit scary for him. And just running away with it now, just play, trying Ooh. to play a thief in the night, but gets forward, uh, forward air from Charizard, and that drops the stock. All right, now... I just want to point out, this is San Diego versus Inland Empire, so the crowd is going to be loud for this one. We're already experiencing it a little bit, but these two are very, you know, competitive regions with each other. So, you know, these are the people's boys up here right now. They want to see some big plays, and speaking of big plays, there's two up here for Spanky and taking a big lead onto Linky. Goes for the down air, but an early up, he is going to keep him alive. Yeah, good presence of mind there from Linky to stuff out that that option. Uh, goes for the vine, but probably doesn't get the buffered hop that he was looking for. Down throw into the uppie, not going to do it. Actually going for a down here, I'm surprised. Yeah, he's out of uh, out of the percent now for that kill confirm, it looks like. So, Linky kind of can breathe a little bit of a side relief as much as he can against Ivysaur, right? Yeah, I mean, even then, if you, you know, go for the wrong option out of the down throw that Spanky might still look for, and he reads it, he can cor or correctly, he can up air you for it. Right, and you're still in a bad position anyway above Ivysaur where you yeah. don't want to be, so. Oh, it's that's not the smooth regret? sailing. Both of them just roll through each other right now. And yeah, so many projectile confirms. Uh, just looking content to play the the keep away game, not really getting too much more mileage off of it, especially the bombs. Uh, right oh. there, tries to get in, but doesn't actually pick it up. And there's the back of for Spanky, forces Linky off stage once again, goes for the neutral, it goes for another one as well. Oh no, it lasts forever. It's an active hitbox the whole time. Crowd. You can feel the energy building Ooh. up in the crowd as we come into the home stretch of game one. Fodor just popping him right off the top. Good read, gets the up tilts coming out. And now Charizard, this is not the game plan that I think he wants to be in. He wants that Squirtle, here we go. Squirtle's back in. All right. Yeah, feel the energy, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. The crowd just going nuts today. Up tilt into the up tilt, Spanky in a really bad spot. He tries to jump over the... Bomb with the photo, but it gets caught up air, keeping Spanky in a very bad spot above Linky. There it is. Aggressive. Go boldly, young son. All right, and that's going to be game one going to Linky. Kind of solid. Only 13% right. on his last stop. As I was saying, he is a little tentative on those bomb confirms, and it might turn around if he just goes in boldly that time. 
He had a bomb yeah. confirmed. He was all over that, ready and to go. And he really tried to, you know, say, I know that these bombs are hitting. I just have to be willing to actually commit to right. it. Right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but he was in a pretty safe percent, even if he was. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, you got to have faith in the game engine, faith in the hit stun sometimes. sometimes. It's scary. There's but. not a lot, but <laughs> there's some. All right, here we go. Let's see what uh, Spanky does. You know, that's that's got to be rough for Spanky. The crowd going crazy, but and you had a little bit of a lead, and sometimes the the shouting starts, the cheering begins, and sometimes it gets to the nerves a little bit. Now, Spanky does have a Fox. I'm curious if that might be the counter pick here or if he's going to stick with the Pokemon Trainer. Summering over Pokemon Trainer. It looks like locking in. All right, no Fox. All right. It would have been a good pick. You know, Fox is very good at zone breaking a lot of the, especially projectile characters. So. Yeah, but happen. I mean, it's definitely not as polished as the Pokemon Trainer right. is, so I'm not surprised we still see the Pokemon Trainer coming out. Yeah, definitely got to throw it, you know, sometimes. Uh, all right, let's see what adjustments Spanky is able to make, you know. I just kind of feel like there were situations that Spanky had the opportunity to just kind of take the lead, but just barely missed some of the confirmed situations. All right, back here, goes for a second back here, but he actually chases him with the down, or with the F tilt, rather. Interesting, down air, not covered by Spanky, and he ends up getting hit for it. And they're slugfesting back and forth. No projectiles necessary. All swords, all, uh, you know, whatever kicks to uh, Squirtle's throwing out. Right, Here's Ivy Sword back out. Yeah, now this is where the projectiles are going to start coming out. The Razor Leaf is huge for Spanky. Yeah, it's interesting he picked Final Destination. I would have thought that that's what uh, Toon Link was going to end up counterpicking. I mean, I can see both ways. You can't really, you know, if... If Toon Link sets up under the uh, platforms, uh -huh. it's kind of hard to jump in on him. He's got kind of a safe space above him. Yeah. And so Spanky's game plan is really just to take that away from him since he's going to be wanting to jump in with these forward airs, that kind of thing. Interesting. Let's see how it ends up uh, how it ends up playing out. There's a good bomb confirmed. Yeah, Spanky's going to be in a little bit of trouble if Linky tightens up that game plan and is able to just confirm on bombs from the go. Because he didn't really start doing that until the third stop. Oh, great switch. He sees the bomb coming in, knows that Linky will commit for the bomb confirmed. If he sees it, goes for the swap in the middle of it and gets the Charizard up smash. That's one way to condition. If you eat enough projectiles and get them into that you know, sense of complacency, sometimes you can catch them sleeping and get some really tricky moves like that special switch into an up smash. All right, here we go, Spanky. Interesting up -y, but it's going to be a big punish right now. Interesting. Yeah, Charizard's out. Not enough yet to kill on the up throw because I think he survived like a 130 earlier. Ooh, He's trying to go for that forward air. Bomb confirm is going to seal out that stock. Spanky still has a bit of a lead, but it's definitely closing on him. Right. And yeah, Squirtle's out. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to switch. He's already at past that low percent where the Squirtle damage is going to be a factor. Now it's Ivysaur time. This is kind of where the match has actually struggled a little bit for Spanky, just the Ivysaur game. Squirtle's been getting the job done. It's been the Ivysaur confirmed that have been more of a problem. All right. Nice air dodge through the up air. Here goes damage for Linky. Gets the confirm into the up tilt. Da landing down air for both of them. Spanky tries for a third, but doesn't find it. Yeah, somebody find a shield button on these landing situations. Let's go. And he's virtually tied it up. Has to switch to Charizard to recover. And here we go. There's the bomb. Boomerang covering the, uh, the uh, aerial approach. Good ledge trapping with projectiles so far coming out from Linky. Bomb forward air, and that's going to be the stock for Linky. Linky only needs one more. Can Spanky find a way to close this game out? And it's almost like Charizard might be too big in that ledge recovery situation to break through. Might be better off just using one of the other Pokemon for the situation. Yeah, but sometimes you really just get stuck in there as Charizard, and that's not the best spot to be in. Down air for Spanky is going to even out. Big play. The crowd's going wild right now. They're rooting on their boys. Yeah, I mean, Linky's sticking to the game plan, looking for these bomb confirms. Can Spanky find any damage to even it up right now? He actually loses his double jump, but the up B forms from Squirrel is going to be enough. But already Linky right back to the game plan, doing a very good job stuffing out all the approaches. It's just like, throw all projectiles. As soon as you get close, here comes a forward air or an air. Great back airs for Spanky, calling out these uh, air dodgers. Goes for another one, doesn't find it. 50% onto Linky, this is Danger Zone. Doesn't get the bomb confirmed. Goes for the back here into the up, he doesn't find it yet. Try, Spanky try and catch the recovery right there. Back throw, not gonna be enough. But Ivysaur's off stage in a little trouble. Has a bomb hit, Spanky able to get back to the ledge. 
Yeah, and without switching a Charizard, that is very important. Right. Almost see they tried to get a grab off that back here. Didn't quite get it set up. A little late to the reaction. Here it is. Down throw. He, he the reads range. the Udark. Oh Spanky's still God. alive. <laughs> Both players taking tight. Good a vine whip to clear out the, the landing. Oh, he Charizard. spot dodges. He had the same read from before, and that's the F-Tilt. Linky not going to take it. Who's got it? And all right, Charizard back on stage. Oh, no, he special. gets up into it. It lingers forever. Oh man, look at the crowd, the energy, the passion. Welcome to Breakthrough 2019, ladies and gentlemen. And the crowd goes wild. Linky taking it over Spanky, bit of an upset in terms of seating, but you know, clearly he was kind of commanding that whole set. He right. knew what was going on. Maybe 